genius is the one human quality which scientists have never been able to explain or to control. Genius crops up from the most unlikely surroundings. To prove this, my next Believe It or Not sketch takes you back to the remote backwoods of Georgia, the time 1928. As our scene opens, Willis Dysart, a motherless boy of five, has just awakened and come into the kitchen to greet his father. Would I up so early for Daddy? Uh, been up for hours, son. Been working on that deal old man Smith put over at the tobacco auction. Daddy, I had a dream last night. Well, you did? A dream about Mother. I went up to heaven and I saw her. Now, now, boy, your mother's been up in heaven three months. But, Daddy, she talked to me in my dream, and she told me I could add, subtract, and multiply. Son, you you ain't ever been to school. You can't even read or write. But, Daddy, I tried, and I could figure. And a miracle happened. That five-year-old boy, Willis Dysart, suddenly became a mathematical wizard. And tonight, I have him here in the studio as my guest. He is now 15 years old, and this is the first time that he's ever been outside of his hometown in Georgia. He has had less than two years of schooling. He can hardly read or write, yet he can work out the most intricate mathematical problems rivaled only by an elaborate calculating machine. His method of figuring is a natural method, born in him like an instinct, and he's entirely different from all other calculators. I will now ask him to demonstrate his amazing gift to you. I present Willis Dysart. Good evening, Mr. Rector. Now, Willis, I want you to show us how fast you can multiply. Ladies and gentlemen, we have in the studio one of the fastest electric calculating machines in the world, the Mathematon. An operator will multiply the figures with Willis and a total will be checked in that way. Now, will uh, two members of our audience give me a number? Please, anyone. We'd like to have some numbers. If anyone... 4,563. Uh, 4,563. 563. 563. Yes. Now, will someone else uh, give us a number, please? Anyone at all? 313. What is that? Take a part. What was that number? 2,000. 2,000. 300. 313. All right, now, of course, you have both numbers. Now, Willis, multiply them. Ten million. Two. Five hundred. Fifty. Four thousand. Two hundred nineteen. All right, now I'll check with the electrical calculating machine. Mr. Operator, what is your total, please? $10,554,219. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> and now I'm going to ask, now I'm going to ask Willis Dysart to try a very complicated problem, to extract a square root. That means he must get the number which multiplied by itself gives the number which I'm going to get from the audience now. I hope, now may I have the number, someone? Will you repeat that, please? 158,404. 158,404. All right. All right. Well, it's the square root of that, please. 398. <laughs> hey, you finished way ahead of the machine. Say, <laughs> hey, Mr. Operator, uh, you got the answer yet? The root is 398. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Now, for the final and most difficult test of them all. To solve this one, Willis must make four distinct and extremely difficult mental operations. I will ask one of our audience to give us his birth date. And then Willis will take that birth date and tell you how many years, days, hours, and minutes have elapsed since that time. Now, will someone uh, please... August 9th, 1903. What is that? August 9th. August 1903. All right, now, Willis, will you please tell us how many years? 35 years. 35 years? How many days? 12,749. How many hours have elapsed since that time? 
three hundred five thousand nine hundred seventy-six. Now tell us how many minutes have passed since this gentleman was born. Eighteen million three hundred fifty-seven thousand six hundred and eighty. And one more. Tell us what day of the week. On what day of the week was he born? Sunday. Sunday, is that, uh, is that correct? Correct. Sunday, <laughs> that's correct. And Willis, my congratulations to you. I am sure that you are the most amazing calculator in the world today. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just presented Willis Dysart a 15-year-old boy who never before has been out of the backwoods of Georgia where he was born. Yet he came here tonight and performed feats of mental calculation that mark him as a scientific miracle. With no schooling, barely able to read and write, he can do fantastic math, math, uh, medical calculations which have baffled science, believe it or not. <laughs>